Like, what the fuck is this, man? What is this head? What did you do? What's going on? No, I'm just kidding. What's up? Um, we're going to be rating every single Pokemon that was introduced in Sword and Shield today. Um, if you're curious, uh, I'm probably going to link this in the description somewhere. I'll also link it in Twitch chat. Um, I have a list where I have rated every single Pokemon, every single existing Pokemon um, on a scale of 0 to 100. Now, what does that scale say? It's literally just how much I like this Pokemon. So, whatever your favorite Pokemon is, whichever factors contribute to, th to that, they're basically rated on those factors, okay? Does that make sense? So, like, anything from design, usability in the game, uh, personal connection, whatever it is, Everything will contribute to that. If you're curious, real quick, we can look into best to worst. Um, my top five, you can't see the f top one because it's cut off, but it's Zangoose, Driftblim, Metacham, Smeargle, Flygon, Crobat, Azelf, Rattata, Hippodon, Zekrom, Lantern, Embor, Slowbro, Claydol, and so on and so forth. And then, like, the bottom, we can go into this and go worst to best. The worst is Goth. Uh, it's a uh, Cut off, cut off again, but it's Gotharita, Graveler, Alola, Tyranitar Mega, Crabrominable, Poliwhirl, Quilladin, Manectric Mega, Seismitoad. If I um if I put the Mega separately, I guess I have to put the Gigantamax separately as well, but that'll be fine. I'll also be doing Galarian forms as well. Let's start with your boy. Let's start with your boy. Okay. Grookey Gang, Grookey Gang, Grookey Gang, Grookey Gang. Now this whole evolution line is like, it's okay. Um, I don't mind it. I It has a pretty simple concept behind it. Also, we've already had a monkey starter. Um, first starters in general aren't that high rated for me. This one's okay, though. I like that it has like a signature move going on and the whole line and everything. It's okay. Um, I think it's like a solid, like, uh, I do like, like the drum thing and everything. It's just not personally for me. Um... I think Grookey is a solid, like, 45 in my book. Um, it's okay. I just don't have, like, any special... Any, any, no, nothing special going on here, right? Um, evol evolution Thwackery. Uh, th I'm sorry, Thwacky. It's okay. Uh, again, though the concept of the line is okay. Uh, the, as a middle evolution, it's fine. It has sort of middle stage syndrome. Uh, that's a term that, that, I, that comes up a lot when I rate these Pokemon. Um, because that has like the non Gen Eight ones, right? Okay. It, what I mean by middle stage syndrome is it looks like the first and the last stage were made, and then the third, and then the middle stage was kind of squashed in between as like a mutant combination of those two. A lot of Pokemon have this problem. Um, particularly, I think the primary example would be like Charmeleon, right? Um, it's okay though. Um. It doesn't have that too badly. It has some unique features, I feel, to it, but not too many. I, I think it's a little bit worse than Grookey. It's, I, I kind of like its proportions, though, um, all, to be honest, now that I look at it more. Um, I like like the short legs plus like long arms and everything. And the color scheme is kind of nice. I actually really like green plus orange. You know what? I'll bump this one to a 52. Never mind. I do like it more than Grookey. Okay. Rillaboom. Man, I don't like it. Like the drum thing is cool. I like its signature move and everything, but god damn, it's it seems like such a step back. It misses like it misses out on all like the orange and everything. Uh design elements that I like. It only keeps it in like the mouth. Um the hair is horrible. I hate the hair on it so much. I think it's just awfully designed. I think it's an okay idea and everything, but at the end of the day, it's a big gorilla with the wacky hair and like it has a drum. I felt like this evolution could have gone like much cooler places and it didn't. So we're gonna give this one like a, honestly, like it would have been kind of cool if this would turn into like a grass psychic type and it was like an actual drummer with like different sticks that it was drumming like telekinetically. That would have been cool as fuck. Um, so yeah, a lot of potential there, not really used. It honestly, I don't rate this very highly at all. This is maybe like a twenty-one. Okay. Um, moving on to the next star evolution line, we have Score Bunny. I like like. I think 
concept wise, this is my favorite, maybe, in the generation. Score bunny is cute as fuck, right? Um this, the, these rings are out of 100 M. Um, it's cute as fuck. I guess it's job done as a starter. I like that it's unique. Um, honestly, probably pretty good actually. I think this is like a 68. It's nothing too amazing, but it's a pretty good start to the line. And then honestly, it goes on like not bad. Like all the middle evolutions seem pretty okay. Um, Drizzle maybe not so much. I actually really like um Reboot. I think this one's really sick. Um, it has a lot of personality. It definitely does not suffer from middle stage syndrome, in my opinion. I, I actually really like, it really does look like an up-and-coming soccer star, like the middle stage, right? Like, Score Bunny's a little kid playing soccer. Football, sorry. And then Reboot is, like, the up-and-coming, like, youngster training hard, right? I really, really like that. I think Reboot might be, like, a solid 71, even. Honestly, Score Bunny 60 is a little bit high. I think it's closer to, like, a 62. Um, okay. So yeah, it's okay. Cinder Ace. So in theory, this is a really cool Pokemon, right? But I feel like they messed up the execution so much. It's similar to Rillaboom. Um, and actually also Inteleon, which we're going to talk about in a bit. This was supposed to be really like Pyro Ball. The animation, everything is really cool. The idea is really sick, but fuck dude. It's face. It's face looks so like flat, especially in game. You can't really see it in this model, but it looks horrible in game, dude. I do not like it at all. It's at most because I really like the concept like a 26 at most. Actually, I like it's I like it's um I like its signature move a lot. I think that bumps it like a 31. Moving on to Sobble. Sobble's really, really cute. It's hella fucking cute. So it gets the job done. Like a first stage evolution pretty much just has to be cute and have like some unique feature that hints towards what it's going to evolve into. And I think Sobble does that quite well. It's nothing too amazing, nothing too super cool or interesting. Most most first stage evolutions really aren't. Although there are some exceptions. I personally really like Trico. Um... Hmm. Um, yeah, it's a, uh, it's pretty good. It's like, uh, it's definitely the best of the three, in my opinion. Um, clocking in at like a, I want to say a 65, I think is a solid rating for this. It's like nothing too amazing. Nothing. I could, actually, it has a lot of personality and I value that a lot. I think that bumps it up by quite a bit by like 10 points. Maybe even, is this really a 75 point Pokemon though? It's like a 73. 75 is a big threshold. Let me in the DMs. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Sobble's okay. I like it. But then, like, oh, Drizzile. It's honestly, I think it's horrible. The, the way it diverges from the... The way it diverges from the color scheme is not pretty at all. Like, everyone, when this came out, thought this was the shiny, right? I think that pulls it down a lot. I like, like... Again, kind of like in Cinder Ace, I like what it has going on that it almost tells a story. It's like a sad orphan child goes full emo in its teens and then becomes a cool spy. Like it's a spy with a dark past. I really like that and I get points for that. But Drizzle itself is a pretty horrible design, I think. I think it's it's fun-ish to use. You just spam water pulse is not for it, like the amount of its existence. So it's like a... Oh my god. <sighs> I'm so yawny today. I think this is at best like a 20. It's probably closer to a 19. All right, Inteleon. Inteleon. So this is another one. 
it, I feel like this is the thing in all three of these starters. Another one that's like a really cool idea, but not good in execution. Like the idea of a spy lizard is really cool. You could have done so much more with like a, the, a signature. Like the signature move is okay. The animation is cool, but it could have been so much cooler. Its official artwork is pretty sick. The way it shoots like the water from its like handgun is like pretty fucking badass. It just doesn't feel as cool like when you're actually using it in the game. And that's why I'm going to give it like a like a 43, I think. I think the execution is just not good enough. Um uh, still my favorite of the 3 uh fully evolved starters, but it's not saying a lot. Um, the first stages in this game are, are honestly the best. I can kind of see why those were the only ones revealed. <laughs> okay, moving on. Squabbit. It's a squirrel. It's like whatever. It has actually interesting abilities plus moves that it gets that makes it kind of unique in a playthrough. So I don't want to give it like a too low of a rating. So they did do a good job of making the regional rodent kind of interesting. They didn't even give it like an additional type when it evolves or anything though. So. It gets like cheek pouch plus uh the like the one berry eating move or whatever. I thought that was kind of fun. Um and then it gets like body slam pretty early. I like that. I think it's uh it's nothing special, but it's not, it, it's like pretty close to a 50. It's probably like a little bit above average because of the move set and stuff. I'll give it a 52. Um <laughs> but like greedent Initially, I thought it was, like, funny because it's, like, Peter Griffin. <laughs> but I don't know. I think st things really fall apart with this thing, honestly. Um, uh, uh, they they could have gone so many directions with this, but... Like, giving it a unique berry-eating ability and stuff like that, but it's just whatever. Like, honestly, could this have... had ha This wouldn't have been very useful in battle, but I think it would just wouldn't have been very flavor flavorful. What if it had, like... Um, you know how squirrels hide nuts, right? What if when this used a berry, it put the used berry back into your bag? Because it's hiding it. I think that would be pretty cool. There's a lot they could have done with this. They didn't. I think this is pretty close to like a... Th it's funny, at least. So it's like a 31. Hide these nuts in your mouth. Got him! Good one. Rookie D. Same as Cinder Ace. Oh, yeah, for sure. At least, like, the design on Greedent is, like, okay. Like, the execution. Like, Cinder Ace is actively, like, ugly. Rookie D. Uh, I seriously don't give a fuck about this Pokemon. It's super whatever, super standard, it's super boring. Honestly, what did I give to Fletchling? Because it's, like, pretty much the same thing. 35. Yeah, that sounds about accurate. Uh, but I'll give it less because it's just another recycled idea. I'll put it, push it down to a 30. Rookie is better than every other starting bird? That's not even remotely true. What are you talking about? Dude, Hoot Hoot is so much more interesting immediately just in terms of learn set. Taylor is actually really sick. Starly is really interesting. I don't know, dude. It's bad take. Just bad. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Okay, Corvus Squire. It's okay. I don't really care much for it. It's heavily, heavily, heavily suffers from what we call middle stage syndrome, MSS. Um, so I, I can't rate it more than like, I, I like it more than Rookie D, especially because it gets like Hone Claws, which is interesting, but that's about it, mate. Like, that's about it. Um... Middle stage syndrome pulls it down a lot to like a 26. What's my definition of middle stage syndrome? Basically, if you look at a Pokemon, if you look at its middle stage, and it seems like its first evolution and its last evolution were designed first, and then they were like, fuck, we need to give this a middle evolution, so they just squashed the two designs together. That's middle stage, that's middle stage syndrome. I didn't even know anyone else used that term. I thought I invented it, to be honest. Corviknight. Does it have the Gigantamax form anywhere? Yeah, it's like down here. I can't show it. How do I show it? Fuck. Fuck. Ah! Let me show it! God damn it. 
I think we're not going to be writing the Gigantamax form separately, actually. Because, like, the the Megas, they get, like, their own, like, moves and... Or not moves, but typings and abilities and stuff. I don't really... Gigantamax is just kind of, you know... It's just kind of whatever. Corviknight is okay. Um, I wish they actually showed some animation of it flying you around the game, but they just don't. Um... It, honestly, hot take, this might be the most boring flying steel type they could have made. It's okay. Like, man. It's a little bit below average. I just think it's so boring, man. It's a 44, maybe. It's okay. Oh, you guys can't see it, huh? Okay. Moving on from Corviknight, we have... <laughs> this is the worst Pokemon in this game. <laughs> It's seriously, it's so fucking ugly. Anonymous Subgifter, thank you so much for the subgift to Nordzi. I appreciate it, man. Blip bug. Like, what the fuck is this, man? What is this head? What did you do? This design is completely, just like, completely ugly to me. I can't look at it. I don't want to think about it. It's horrible, honestly. It's horrible. It, it literally looks like they took like the image and they dragged it upwards. It was like in Photoshop without keeping the resize or like with uh, without keeping the. It's just bad. It's just bad. Okay, is what I'm trying to say. Hold on. Let me look at my worst to best. Where does this fit in? <laughs> this is definitely worse than Weedle. And it's definitely better than Zebstrika. I think I like this more than Feraligator. This is... Ah, it's an 11. This is an 11. Okay, moving on. Evolves into Dotler. This one I thought was okay. Uh, after seeing it in game and stuff. Initially, I thought, what the fuck is this? But you know what? I think I might actually like this one a little bit more. It's Bug Psychic. It's interesting. We've had a Bug Psychic type before, right? And I just don't remember it. Which one is it? Yeah, he's a radar bug. It's, like, actually kind of cool. Um, Radar was, like, invented in Great Britain, right? I think. Sword Dex Entry. Where is it? It barely moves, but it's still alive. Holding in its shell without food or water seems to have awakened its psychic powers. Interesting. Is this the first bug psychic type? Yeah, that also makes it pretty cool. You know what? This one bumps the this one bumps up a lot. This is like an above average Pokemon. I think this is a 55. It's a big increase. You know what? Actually, now that I look at it, I think I might like the way that Blip Bug evolves into this. I think I'm gonna bump up this rating to like a 15. This is too loud. Okay. Or Beetle. It's the fully evolved. And this also has a Gigantamax. As seen nowhere. You guys can't see it. Rip. Um. It's okay. It feels like they ripped the body design. Um. It feels like they ripped the body design from. Um, Zaycrom. No, not Zaycrom. What is it? I seen the G Max. It's ridiculous. I actually think it's kind of cool. It's like a UFO, right? That probably bumps it up a lot. The body design is like straight up copied from. Oh wait, Necrozma. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's okay. Uh, apart from that, I think it's cool. So I'll give it like a. I don't like this more than Dotler. It's like a 47. Okay. Yeah, I don't really care about this line that much. Nick it. Nick, your next prime in the channel. 
כן. If you want to see some popular bugs, you should see the ones your mom is passing around town. Damn. Damn. Got him. Okay. It's cute. And it looks kind of, you know, it, it looks kind of sneaky. It's okay. It fulfills its purpose. Nothing too special going on there. I initially thought this was fire type because its tail looks like a campfire, but it's just not. It has, like, that has like nothing to do with its design. So whatever, it gets the job done. It's like a 40. Not much else to say. And then, um... Thievel has some positive associations for me, because it reminds me of Fantastic Mr. Fox, which is a fantastic movie that I watch with a fantastic person. Um... Yeah, I know, Linda. <laughs> If I if I if I live in the city, I'm not moving out. Fuck that shit. No, no way. Um. Did I watch it with Egg? I, I watched it with a fantastic person. Okay. Um. <laughs> the German name is Gaunux. That's great. Um. It's okay. Uh, I actually kind of like it. But it's like gameplay wise, it's like way too similar, like Purloin, which is also in the game. Like, I don't know, dude. What's its ability again? What does it say? Oh my god, I hate Cerebi so much. Oh, stakeout. No, 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 it's runaway or unburdened. Yeah, it's super, super, super boring. Uh, gameplay wise, and its design is okay though. But like, man, this is like, like a dark type, like feline slash dog. Like, I don't know, man. It's Forty-eight, maybe. Ghost of Fleur is super boring in my opinion. Um, Eldegoss is okay, it's basically just jump bluff, right? Um, like in the overworld. I have nothing special to say about these Pokemon whatsoever. Um, I do like the ability, that's like the one saving grace, which pushes it to like a 30, no, it's like a 26 maybe. Eldegoss is like a 24. I think Eldegoss is pretty ugly. Yeah. I don't think it's visually that interesting to be honest. I don't like it that much. I'll be right back. I'm just getting some water. <laughs> okay. Alright. Um Wulu! Hell yeah. I didn't a bitty. So far I guess my favorite Gen 8 Pokemon is actually Sobble. Wulu is really cute. Wulu is really fucking cute. Cool shiny too. Um, and actually, interesting learn set and ability. Honestly, this is a good ass Pokemon. Oh dude, it's French. Name is almost Mr. Mooten. It's Moo Mooten. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Um, A lot. I think it's actually really, really cute. I'll give it like a 78. When it evolves...
Um, it's okay. <laughs> Doubles, like, whatever. It, it looks like a football. <laughs> Which is interesting, I guess. I kind of ran out of ideas for this one, to be honest. Oops. Um... Will it be worse than Bennett Mega? Hell yeah, Bennett Mega is fucking sick. Okay, uh, double. Will, I th I still think it's okay. I got really annoyed of seeing it all the time on Hop's team, I guess, which kind of puts it down for me, which is fair in this rating. So, it's still above average. I'll give it a fifty-six. Choodle. <laughs> So depending on what you feel like, this thing is either like a zero or like a or like an eighty. Um, <laughs> it's such a ridiculously stupid design. Um, fuck, where's that meme where where the woman pours water on the guy's back? Like the old boomer, and he goes, ah, and in the video they like blow up his head. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Um, I think he's really cute. I think he's very expressive. He's very dumb, and I like that a lot. It's usable. It's, on, it's like they put Squirtle on four legs and then made something stupid with its head. I can I can honestly see that. It's okay. I'll give it a... Excuse me. <laughs> this feels like a... Solid 69 to meme. Where did I give in 68? A 68 to? Did I give anything a 68? I didn't. Okay, yeah, 69 sounds good. It's not quite a 70. Okay. Um. I think it's cute as fuck. Gretna, also Gigantamax. It's. <sighs> Like, it's like actually kind of fun to use, but man, all these are really cool shinies. Um, I, I'm not a fan of its design, dude. I'm not gonna lie. It's, I don't like the Gigantamax at all. This one's just like okay. It's above average. It's definitely nothing special. It feels like a 53 to me. I think it's it's the color scheme plus like the fact that it looks like a toy. Huh, man. Now that I've recalled that, that I think it looks like a toy, I think the rating is a lot lower. Yeah, it looks way too much like a toy actually, without having any of that design actually implemented into it. You know, so like it's probably closer to a 42. <sighs> Jesus, I really don't like it that much. Okay. Yamper. It's a cute doggo. What can I say? And they slapped like the electric type onto it. It's a really cute doggo though. And honestly, I thought I would like Bolton a lot less, but after using Bolton, it's actually pretty fun. Just because of its stats, not really because of move pull, because electric types always have shit move pull. Yamper's like whatever. It's a cute doggo. I can't give a cute doggo like below a 60. Um. So I'll give this one a 60. Having strong jaws kind of nice. Yeah, Bolton is a little bit above this. Bolton's like a 67. No, it's not that good actually. It's like a 62. It's basic, but it's fun to use. The design isn't anything to anything special at all, but it's cute. Roly Coley. Oh, things are gonna start to fall apart here. <laughs> I think Roly Coley is actually okay. I think the base form of this evolution line is actually pretty okay. I think the base form of this is like a 57. It's like pretty solid, right? It's like okay, let's see where this is going, right? And then you look at where this is going and you see fucking <laughs> 
This was actually, I thought this was complete garbage. It was okay when I saw it drive around the tracks in the overworld in the mine. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, so I'll improve this one by a little bit. Maybe it, uh, It improves it up to like a 40. Maybe. It's so ugly. The coal just doesn't look good. They needed to like redesign this. The, the, the texture of the coal I think is awful. And then oh boy. Even with it's interesting Gigantamax artwork. Um, Colossal itself is just such a mess. It's like worse Rhyperior with an incredibly ugly afro. I'm sorry. I can't give this more than like a... 12. And I think 40 is way too high for Carcoal. Carcoal is closer to like a 20. This is so good. So, 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 so bad. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's like a 12. 13. We'll give it a 13. Because at least it has an interesting ability. Not that that would make me want to use it, but, you know. Applin! Oh boy, here comes the good shit. This is the good shit, boys. I love this line. I think both of these evolutions sick as fuck. Sick as fuck, dude. With a cool Gigantamax, too. Um... I also really like the base, and the fact that we got this as a grass dragon is really, 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 really cool. Um, this is only good, though, because you know where its design is going, but I think that's what makes it good. This is like a 65, and it's only upwards from here. Flapple. This is the better of the two evolutions, in my opinion. I think this is a really fucking cool idea. Um, and the execution is excellent. Um, this is a high 70s Pokemon, like 78, 79. Um, Bakugan. And then... Appleton is okay. It's also pretty cute. Um, it's an apple pie, that's kind of cool. Uh, I also like that the shiny versions of this, it's a green apple, that's really cool. Um, this is like a 72. It's really good. It's not as good as Flapple, but I think the execution is great. And they share a Gigantamax, which is really good. Man, I I would have to use Flapple in game to give a definitive rating, okay? Like that's higher than 79, but I think it's really cool. These these ratings might change once I use these more in like game and random bats and stuff. <sighs> silly cobra is just a silly cobra. Um, nothing special about this to be honest. The it's like signature ability is okay, but otherwise I'm, I really don't care about this. This is below average to me. It's just a sand snake. <sighs> 32. It's okay. The execution is fine. Just the idea is super boring. Um, same with Sandaconda. Sandaconda is a little bit better, and its Giga is okay. Um, bump that up to like a 36. Cramorant, it's cute as shit. It's cute as shit. Um, and the idea is so ridiculous and so cool. I love this thing. <laughs> this is like a 76. I really, 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 really like it. It's super, super cute. The idea is super fun, super ridiculous. I just love when Pokemon designers just have like crazy ideas and they execute them really well. And this is an example of that. I really like that. Aracuda! This has a lot of personality. Despite being a pretty basic fish, this has a lot of personality. And I like that. It's a 62. Um, 
just like ba purely based on personality. Um, and then not only does its evolution um, Barascuda have a lot of personality. It's also really fun to use. It's super strong. Like, it's so fast, it deals so much damage. Holy shit. Um, and this might be really useful in doubles, too, once its hidden ability is released. I think this is a really fucking sick Pokemon. Um, and it has a lot of personality. This is among my favorites in this gen. And I don't think it's as cool as Flapple, but it's close. I think it's a 78. I'm drinking from a pickle jar. It's actually an applesauce jar. Okay, don't at me. Um... Hey, leave a YouTube comment. What's your favorite thing to drink out of <laughs> what <laughs> YouTubers be like? Toxel! Um, this is cute. This is really, really, really cute. It has a lot of personality, and it's finally an electric poison type, which I really, 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 really like. Um, is the Gigantamax form of this only there, like, conceptually in the data or something? Is that what's going on? Um, it's baby. It's cute. We like it. It's nothing too insane. It's just, you know, it's a cutie. Um, and I'll give it... What did I give to Yamper? 60? Yeah, this is a 67 for being a much better typing. Okay, now, um... This might be a hot as fuck take. I think I kind of lost their way with Toxtricity on this. Honestly, tox what Toxtricity's design says to me is we wanted to make an electric poison type and we had no other ideas. That's like literally, that's like what its name is to me. Um, Punk Rock is an interesting as fuck ability though. Um... Maybe this even needed a middle stage. I'm not sure. Like, I'm not sure where else they were go going with this design. Except for like, okay, we gotta make a poison electric type. And that was like the idea. I don't really think I like that that much. I think that bumps it down from Toxel. Um, by quite a lot. Maybe if I used it in game, I would think differently about it, but it's okay. 62. I don't know, it's just so boring. Sizzlepede. I really like this line. This is a cool idea. Perfectly executed. Um, I think I like Sizzlepede a little bit more than Centiscorch, but Centiscorch's Gigantamax adds a lot of rating to it. Um, Sizzlepede itself is like a 70, and I think Centiscorch, because of its Gigantamax, which is badass as fuck, is a, um, 76? Yeah. Clobopus. It's cute. I feel like it's just there to be a pre-evolution, but it gets the job done. Um, I really like the signature move of these guys. I think that's really cool. Also, can't wait for a hidden ability technician on this. Um, don't have much else to say about this. Um, I really like. I like the evolution more. I think this one's just okay. This one's like a fifty-one, maybe. 52, and then, um, Grab-a-locked, grab locked grab locked um, I think is closer to, like, a, a 64, um, I really like the signature ability, um, really like the idea of this just being pure fighting, really, really like that. It's nothing, like, too incredibly amazing. And honestly, the color palette throws me off a lot. I'm not gonna lie. This is purely...
personal, obviously, but I just don't really like the color palette. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. Poltergeist. Wait, no, we need the pre-evolution. Sorry. Sinistee. Um, yeah, I like the idea. Possessed teacup, interesting idea. Um, the moveset, the evolution method, um, all that is pretty cool. Shell smash strength. Yeah, the fact it gets like shell smash and shit is really interesting. Sinistee is just okay. It's a good design, I think. It's nothing too special. Um, like the idea behind it too. I'll give it a 60. And then Poltegeist, I think, is really interesting. Um especially like in-game. It seems really insane. Um Yeah, this thing seems crazy. In terms of stats, shell smash, strength sap, like, holy shit. Stored power too, like this thing is crazy and really, really cool. I actually really like this one. This reminds me of like a, of like a Yoshi's Island boss or something. Um, I think it's like a 67-ish. It's higher than that, honestly, it's like a 71. I like this one. Um, a turn. I still haven't figured out what the fuck the concept of this Pokemon is, except like Trans Rights Witch Hat, which is cool, but I don't have much to say about this. Um, I honestly don't like it that much. It's just like a psychic type. It's whatever. Maybe 40? 35, honestly, at best. I just don't know what the fuck this is. Um, and it, its design does not entice me to read its fucking Pokedex entry. This de The one good thing about this Hatrim is that it does not have middle stage syndrome, which I can't really give credit for. I like the, like, stats on, stands on, like, the things from its head. That's kind of cool. Um, so it's a little bit higher. This one's maybe a 42. And then, honestly, the final evolution is a step back. It gets one bonus point for the trans rights colors, but... Uh, sorry. That's Imp Dimp. I have not Quinn, but we'll all play it together next Saturday, 7 p.m. Central European time. For the subscriber showdown tournament. Wow. If you're subbed to my Twitch channel, you get to play in my showdown tournament. I bet the people watching on YouTube didn't even know that. Okay. Hatter Hatrini. I would say Hatterni. I don't know. I still don't know what the fuck this is. It's okay. Strike Antimax is really boring in my opinion. Psychic Fairy is an okay typing. Um, I think it's a step back. I think it's like a 39. Hey, Milk, how's it going? Imp Dimp. Very interesting typing. Dark Fairy. Um, I think I like Imp Dimp and I like the Final Evolution. I don't like Morgrem that much. The Final Evolution also has a really cool Gigantamax. I think Imp Dimp is really cool and has a lot of personality. I think Imp Dimp is like a solid 70, to be honest. And then Morgrem is like okay. It has like that interesting aspect to its design where um, it's like split, right? Where this is like an evil eye or something, or I don't know if this is a horn, but it has like an eye thing on it, so I'm not sure. Um, I think it might just be a horn though. Um, regardless, I really like this like asymmetrical design on it. I'm a big fan of that, but other than that, I think it's kind of boring. Um, Is that above average? Not really. It doesn't feel like a Pokemon that much. It's like a 47. It might just be a nose. Yeah, I don't know, man. 
I think it'd be cool if this was an eye. That's my interpretation personally. I think I really like Grimmsnarl. It's also really fun to use. Interesting shiny. Really, really cool um Gigantamax form. Um I think this is a great Pokemon. Better than Imptimp though. It does look a little bit far-fetched from what a Pokemon should look like. And I think the muscles. I don't know. It's not perfect by any means. 68 sounds about right. Thanks for keeping me in check, Benny. Okay. Obstagoon! I guess this is an opportunity to talk about Zig Zagoon G Lanoon G Obstagoon. Galarian Zigzagoon is hella cute. What did we give the original Zigzagoon? Thirty-two. Yeah, it seems about right. I think this one is a little bit cooler. Not by much, but I'll give it a th thirty-seven. And then noon. I like I like it like running around super fast in the overall. That was pretty impressive. Forty. Okay. Actually, not even. I don't actually like it that much. Design wise, I think Lanoon in general is like not that pretty, but Lin I, I think I rated the original Lanoon a little bit higher because it's fun to use. This one I can't say that much about, so I think I'll give it a 30. Um, and then Obstagoon. That's a clean shiny, yeah. Man, I don't like Obstagoon, I don't think. I think I like the kiss aesthetic. I think it looks really stupid. I think this is like a 20 one. Interesting, like, signature move, but... Is there a video of you rating all the other Pokemon? Um, I think so. I think it's on Twitch. I don't think it's on YouTube. I think there was some reason for me not to upload it to YouTube, but I forgot what it was. I think it was some weird shit. Um... But if you want to see the list, just like my ratings in general, you can go here. Okay. Perzerker. I think Meowth G is pretty boring. I think it's Meowth, but worse. Way worse. Meowth got a 52 initially, which is understandable. Meowth G is like not a big improvement on that idea. Honestly, it's a step back in my opinion. We'll give it a 48 because it's still pretty cute. And then Perzerker. Um, has an okay like name. I like that. But oh, I don't like this. I, why is it a Viking? And I can't, it makes no sense. I think it's really dumb. Like conceptually, the execution might be okay, but conceptually, it's such a dumb fucking Pokemon. I don't like it. Nineteen. Nah, it's not that bad. It's a twenty-five, twenty-six. Um, Chrysola. I really fucking like this. Uh, Chrysola G, uh, the, the pre evolution of this is pretty nice. I like that one a lot. Uh, I think it's a very, very cool concept. Um, and it's executed pretty well. I'll give that one a like a 60. Two. And Cursola, I actually think is really fucking interesting. And a really cool idea. 
um, and executed extremely well. This is like a core soul evolution that we always wanted. Man, I'm so young. Do you curse all that spikes out? Yeah, it's actually really cute in my opinion. Um, I like this one a lot. This is a solid 71. Yeah, the, the hidden ability actually pushes this up a lot. This is a 75. Sarfetched. I guess Farfetched. Farfetched G, I don't really care about it at all. It's just like they had to make it fighting type so they could make this fighting type. I don't even know why they introduced it to the game. Um. But I guess it's cute. The animations are kind of cute. 24. But I actually really like Surfetched. The, the, the idea that both his shield and his sword are the same leak is really cute. The evolution method is really sick. I like its design a lot. I'm gonna make this a 78 and I think my flapple rating should be much higher. Actually, I'm gonna make this a 70. What was 76? Cramorant. Yeah, this is a 78. And I think Flapple is actually closer to like an 83. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mr. Rhyme, I guess. Mr. Mime G. Um. Galarian Mr. Mime is okay. I like ice psychic typing. Um, it's decent ish. I think it's better than original Mr. Mime. Jacob of 56. It's pretty high. But yeah, I like this one more. So much more that I'll give it a 63. Was Anoreth an A3? I just really like it. I think it's very visually appealing to me. That's literally it. And it's kind of fun to use early game if you could ever get in like a randomizer or something. And then Mr. Ryan, I actually like a lot. I like the Charlie Chaplin thing. I, it's, it's ability screen cleaner is like an interesting pun, but I don't actually think it fits. I wish I had gotten an ability that set up screens, like a random one when it came in or something, although that might be too strong. Actually, I don't think that would be too crazy if you balance it with the stats. I don't know. Setting up a random screen when it comes in, I think that could be balanced. So, um, but I like the design, um, 65 for me. Ooh, I really like Runarigas and, um, what's the pre-evolution? Yeah, mask. Yeah, mask is basically the same Pokemon as you mask, right? Forty, yeah. It has like the piece of rune on it, which I kind of like. Maybe forty-two. Um, Rune Regus. I like its evolution method a lot. I think the idea behind it is really, really, really cool. Um. Probably not Gene. Although maybe I should. Um, I really, really like this Pokemon a lot. I think the like conceptually it's so cool and it's done pretty well. Ground Ghost is interesting enough. Um, yeah, honestly, low 70s. Actually, mid 70s, 76, boom.
I really like when the evolution methods are like completely in the dark and people have to figure them out. I really like that. That's just me, maybe. <sighs> Milkery. It's literally a blob of cum. <laughs> so I guess it's good for making jokes about it. That gives it like 10 points. Sums it up to a 16. Good job, buddy. The evolution method is kind of cool, so I guess it gets some credit for that as well. Although I've mostly given credit to the Pokemon that it evolves into, right? Alcrememe. This is really cool. I like the evolution method. Um, the Gigantamax is really interesting. It's literally a strawberries and cream Pokemon. <laughs> It's okay, I don't know. Um, I don't really know how to feel about it. Wait, does it get like any signature moves? I don't actually know. I, it has like the 20 different like forms, which I never really cared about. I, and I think most of them look like really bad. Um, color scheme wise, I can't, I, I can't get myself to like this Pokemon. It's conceptually pretty cool. I'll give it a 33. Um, okay, Phalanx, oh hell yeah. Such a sick fucking Pokemon. Oh, this thing is so cool. Oh my god. Oh, it's fucking Oh shit. Like it's uh it's it's signature move, no retreat. So fucking flavorful. This thing is so fucking sick. Holy shit. Um it's very visually appealing. It's a super super interesting unique idea. It's really cool in the overworld, really cute. Um, super, super cool signature move. Very cool concept, perfectly executed. 85. Holy shit, I really like this Pokemon. Although, let me... What else have I rated in 85? 85 is high as fuck. Um... It's closer to Frostless. Yeah, let's do 84. And um, I'll bump Flapple down to an 82. Gets a little bit iffy in the higher numbers because I have to start like rating stuff a little bit more closely. Oops. Moving on. Phalanx is really fucking awesome. I love this thing so much. Pincurchin. This thing is terrible. Why is this thing in this game? I tried to figure out what was interesting about this. Because I was so confused as to why it was in the game and I found nothing. I guess it's electric type. 13. Snom! Cute as shit, boy. Electric Surge is hidden ability for pink character, I guess. Snom. Super, super duper cute. And the evolution method is cool. Ice bug, fantastic. We finally got one. It's really, really sick. What's up, Shaco Monster? It's a flat 70. I like it a lot. I think it's super cute. And then the evolution. Frost Moth. Um, yeah, it's cool. It's it, The problem is it's another moth Pokemon. That's a cool evolution. Uh, evolution thing though and then hidden ability ice scales 
Boom is predicted by ice scales, which have the to have half damage from special moves. Actually, really sick. Um, the, the this is always gonna have a problem because it's always gonna lack coverage without hidden power. Like it just can't hit steel types. But I really like the idea behind this Pokemon. I think it's very well executed. It's a 76. I like this thing a lot. Don Jurner. I mean, like, they had to make a Stonehenge Pokemon, I guess, and then they just came up with this shit. I, it's kind of cute, I guess. <laughs> its stats are so polarizing. I don't know. This is not higher than a 23. Ice Q. <laughs> Haven't seen any of my playthroughs because I've only been playing Sword. This is so terrible. I can't even. This might be one of the worst Pokemon I've ever seen. <laughs> the idea behind the ability is cool to have it be like Disguise Mimikyu, but like it's been done before. <laughs> this is so bad. Guys, why is everyone saying like 65 cents? This is Horrible Pokemon. It's literally just a penguin with an ice cube on it. Said it's so bad. The only question is, is it so bad that it's good, right? Is it is it like um, a Lolan Persian or a Lolan Executor? Is it so stupid that it's good? And I really don't think it is. If its ability was more unique, if Mimikyu didn't exist, I might be able to be convinced otherwise. But like this. I can't give this more than a 10, I'm sorry. It's literally a penguin with an ice cube on its head. Um, indeedy. Normal Psychic is a cool typing, I guess. It looks so much like fucking Audino. Yeah, I don't know. It has a different ability if it's male or female. Gets Psychic Surge as a hidden ability. I don't know, family, family. Feels like Pincurchin and this are just in the game so they can get the Surge abilities as hidden abilities so they can distribute them as a Ben Pokemon. I think this is a very boring design. At least the typing is unique. 26. Maybe I changed my mind on it if I used one. More Pico. I like it. I think the idea of like the full belly versus hangry mode. It looks really fun to use. Electric Dark is a really interesting typing. Should have been Luxury. Um, yeah, I like it a lot. 64. Just like, I, I don't think it's very pretty. Especially in this mode. I don't like the color combinations. This might have been actually more interesting if they based it less off of Pikachu. I don't know. Qfent. This one I'm kind of whatever on. Um, I don't have super strong feelings about it. Steel type is kind of nice. Um, Shear Force is pretty nice. Um, Copper Raj I have stronger feelings on. But this one feels like a 42 to me. It's like, it's just, it's cute, but it just, I don't know where they were going with this. Uh, it, it's just, I feel like with uh, the, the shapes on it and the colors are just all over the place and it's not very satisfying to look at. Um, Copper Raja. I like this one a lot more. I, it feels like this one has a lot more design direction. Uh, the, the, the color palette is still awful. Uh, at least it has a cool-ish Gigantamax. I, th I actually, it's very unique. Some people really hate it, but I think it's okay. I like this one more than Qfind. Um, 52. Okay, the fossils. The fossils this generation were really interesting. Uh, you take two halves and you plop them together. It's actually what they used to do to fossils in Great Britain. 
Um, starting with Draco Zolt. Um, <sighs> it just, like, when I see these Pokemon, my problem with these fossils is when I see them is I just wish... Like, the unique typings are cool and all, but I just wish I could see, like, the completed version of each fossil. That would be so much more satisfying. This is, like, blue-balling me so hard. I don't understand. First non-rock-type fossils, I guess. I don't even know what to rate this, man. I could see myself giving this one, like, a 70 or, like, a 20. I think I have to use it to be fully determined. Um, but man, I just wish I could f have like the full Pokemon. I feel super blue balled by it. So I think it lands somewhere on like a, because the design is, because the idea behind them is so interesting, they'll all get bonus points. Um, I think this one lands on about like a 56. I like the typing a lot. Um, Arctazalt. This one's probably the best of them. Uh, Electric Ice is really cool. And I think this Arc honestly almost looks like a complete Pokemon. Um, this one lands on like a 64. This is honestly higher. This is honestly a 70. Um, just anything with the Draco in it. <laughs> the Draco part in it. it looks <laughs> like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Put me out of my misery. <laughs> Please, God, kill me. <laughs> Kill me! <laughs> oh, shit. Still, the idea behind it is good enough that saves it from like a completely shit rating. We'll put it at a 44. <laughs> it's just. It's so bad. You literally feel bad reviving it? I almost kind of like that. I like how these Pokemon almost have like a moral dilemma behind them. Um. I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. This one's honestly kind of clean though. Um, but Ice Water is a really boring typing. Probably a 52. Okay. Okay. Duraludon. This need a pre-evolution. What is this? <laughs> I know, I initially liked this, but especially with the Gigantamax, I've begun to heavily dislike it. It's very strong. But I think I actually really dislike it. It's literally a big letter, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I initially really liked it, but now I think it's kind of trash. Um... I initially really liked it. It's just not for me anymore. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Dreepy. This line is fucking awesome. <laughs> it starts out actually really cool, too. I think Dreepy is hella fucking cute and interesting. This might be one of the best first stage dragon types. Um. Ever. Actually fucking sick. Um, it, I think this starts really strong. I have to think, what was my first, what was my favorite first stage dragon type up, up until now? Probably... What did I rate, like, Trapinch? 64. I know it's technically not a dragon type. Um, this is higher. This is a 72. The typing is really cool, too. Um, and then, like, it evolves, and the middle stage is actually fire. This never happens. The middle stage is actually fire. Look at this little guy. He's riding this guy. How fucking cool is that? This could be the final stage of the Pokemon. 
fucking sick, dude. Honestly, up to like a 79. No, this is better. I don't like it more than Flapple. 81. This is fucking sick, though. And then we get... The fucking Broodlord Pokemon, Dragapult. Holy shit, this thing is so badass. It's so badass. Look at these little guys. He's ready to shoot them, dude. It's fucking sick. This thing is super strong, too. Um... I think Dracloak is closer to a 78. And then this is the 83. It's better. <sighs> Hold on. What's an 85? An 85 is Metacham, Mega, Umbreon, Gliscor, Ducklet. Yeah. Yeah, this is an 85. This is very on par with the score for me. Okay. Before I... Hold on. <sighs> eh. Fuck. Before I... Do the legendaries. What are the Galarian forms that I miss? Is there one I have a link to all the Galarian forms real quick? I can't... Dude, Ponyta and Rapidash are literally just unicorns. It's so fucking boring. The typing's okay, but fuck, man. I can't- I- I'm gonna give both these a flat 30. Cause, like, they're well-executed unicorns, but they're not much above that. I think the Ponyta's maybe a little bit better cause it's cute. I'll give it, like, a 36. Um... Weezing G, I think the design is so- it's like, that's actually so good that it's stupid. Um... Or so stupid that it's good. I like that. And it's really fun to use, too. Um, it's like a more fun to use version of Weezing, basically. And Weezing's already pretty fun to use in-game. Yeah, I mean, I know the image is gone. I just don't have a good way of getting it right now. Um, Why did I give OG Weezing? 73. I think it's- I, I'll rate it less, because I do prefer the design. Of OG Weezing. It's just not it's not stupid, but it's just based on like it's just a good solid base design. But I think this is like a 69. Darmaka G is hella cute. Uh what the fuck just happened? Okay. Uh I think it's pretty much the exact same as regular Darumaka in terms of rating. Which I gave a 63. I'll do the same here. 62, because I like the fire version a little bit better, just good colors. And then Darmanitan G. Fuck, this thing breaks the fucking game. How can you give a Pokemon Choice Band as a fucking ability? It's so fucking stupid. Literally giving it more than plus two when it comes into battle if you give it a Choice Band. Um, it's fucking ridiculous. The Zen mode is badass, though. I'll give it that. And I like the, like, round head. 67. <laughs> Just for how stupid it is competitively. Uh, Scalarian Stunfisk is actually really cool. I actually really like it conceptually. It's like the best. Rank Zen mode separate? No, fuck off. It's my list. Okay, Galarian Stunfisk is. I really like it. It's a 71. If it's at when it's actually carrying its sword and not in this sprite, but in the actual sword carrying spite, this one is kind of garbage. But when it's actually carrying the sword, I think it's really badass. It looks a lot like it. I hate this criticism. Because <laughs> I hear it's. I've been hearing it ever since Gen 5 was announced on the internet. Everyone always says the new Pokemon look like Digimon. 
I think this is the first one where it's actually true. I don't know. It's okay. I like it. I think it's a good box legendary. Um, and a good box legendary gets a good rating. Uh, 64. Zamazenta I don't like as much. I don't like the way the shield looks at all. Um, is that actually how you fucking spell this thing? Yes. It's fucking weird as fuck. It looks a little bit better without its shield, honestly. But not that good. Maybe a 51. It's like a little bit above average. And then Eternatus I think is really garbage. Its presentation in the story was horrible. It's like final form is okay, but you could never get to use it, right? This form just looks bad. I'm sorry, I don't like this. Maybe a 34. That's what it feels like. Okay. All right. Um. So one last thing to do. Um, we gotta get the average of this and compare it to my other averages. Of um, so we have this useful thing here, which Milk the Mill Tank made, which says, "Where is it? Generation order here." Fuck, you can't see the numbers. Ah, God. There you go. Um, on average, Gen 4 is my favorite with an average rating of 52.78, and Gen 7 is my lowest with an average of 47.81. A lot of this is because like newer Pokemon I've used the least, right? It's also interesting to note though that Gen 1 is a very low average, so. Uh, yeah. The actually only two Gens that are above average are Gen 4 and Gen 3. <laughs> um, so let's get the average of this. How do we do that? Any, uh, any Google, Google Docs experts? Can I just do equals average? Oops. Can I do select? Can I select all these and then just type equals average? Oh wait, it's down here. Oh, it's actually 50.6. You guys can't see it. It's down here on my screen. Hold on. Yeah, it's 50.6. I have it. Is my average rating for Galarian Pokemon, which is, therefore, my third favorite generation. <laughs> I think I, I might have gone a little bit too soft on some of the bad, um, some of the bad designs. But this, alongside Gen 4 and Gen 3, is the only other generation. This is, on average... Huh. Hell yeah, Milk. I thought it'd be way lower, too. But yeah. I think I went too... I gave the starters a little bit too much. But we'll leave it like this. I don't want to adjust... Too much. I think that's interesting. Apparently Gen 8 designs are actually really cool for me. I should have given it a turn it as a lower rating though. <laughs> it's fine. I think this is cool. Interesting. Okay. Well, if you're on YouTube, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me a comment on what you would have rated differently. What your favorite Pokemon, your least favorite Pokemon from this gen is. All that good shit. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell, blah blah blah. New videos every day. You're on Twitch. We're going to continue our Wulu Deathless Sword.